Hey, so the shark nose has gone to a friend's this afternoon and been replaced with this here. So this is essentially just a big MDF box made with MDF and particle core. Uh, I've whipped this up at work one evening. Uh, based kind of based on the car's dimensions, obviously, and you know some of this that I've kind of figured out, deductive reasoning and so on. Um, yeah, here's my general box measurement stuff. But essentially, it's just a hollow box um, so that I can cover it with styrofoam. This is this is a Type Three EPS expanded polystyrene. Uh, typically, it's just insulation, like residential or commercial insulation. Uh, and then I'll use this spray contact cement, again, something I grabbed from work, and table saw to cut and stick those to this. You know, build up in certain areas, like if I need fenders and I can, you know, blah, 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 that kind of thing. All right, Katie, you know what we're gonna do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll lift this up and you slide those in, okay? Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Get in there. Okay, Got one. Do, okay, do the other side. Don't bonk your head. Bonk your head. Is it going? Okay, step away. No, step away. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of sketchy. Good job. Okay, bye. Thanks, sweetie. Okay, so what I'm doing is bringing this up um, to a workable height so that I'm not like bending over and breaking my back when I do this. So I'm just bringing it up with jack stands to get it generally level, and then I'll shim it, get it really nice and level. And then I'll take this four by four post and and cut and make legs for it that can then sit on the ground properly. And then I'll spray paint around each leg, kind of so I know it, it's exactly level in that exact spot. So I have some shims under the jack stands now to level this structure. Obviously, the garage slopes towards the door slightly. So the reason I'm doing this is so that I can base everything off of a level. So I, because once this is, I mean, once this structure is kind of rounded and, you know, has some shape to it and stuff, like I can't just measure from square edges anymore. There's going to be essentially no square edges on this entire thing when it's all done and carved. And so if I have a uh, kind of a hip, like a fender hip there and here and on the back, without it being level, I can't tell if my left side and my right side are the exact same. Whereas this way, I can at least lay a straight edge, like a level across them, and, and I can tell if it's level, left or right, then I know it's good because the structure itself is level. And another nice thing with a nice flat structure like this, you can tell corner to corner here, you can see that I don't have any twist in it. So a level is pretty good, obviously, but I mean, there's still room for error. I should be doing this with a laser. Normally I would, but I forgot one at work today, so no laser. I'll just use the level in my eyes. My trusty slider. I do this outside because I hate having wood dust in the garage. Grinder dust, or fiberglass dust, or foam dust, whatever. But wood dust, stay at work. Okay, I just heard the door open and close and then dinner appeared. My wife is amazing. It's not uncommon for that to happen around here. She's great. So I've got my posts here. I've got a crack in them and it's kind of a whack edge there. So I'm going to go off the square edge, obviously. So now that I'm level and everything else, I'm put that to the floor. Mm-hmm. 
Heck yeah. If you don't have one of her, you should get one of her. She's amazing. Okay, so the jack stands are out now. Now I can check if it moved at all. Again, this would be ideal with a laser. But pretty perfect there. Pretty good there. And then now that I know that that's where this is going to live, nice and perfectly level for, I don't know, a couple months probably. So now I'll just mark it. Okay, so what I'm doing is spray contacting uh, my foam onto the piece here. So this one's already set. I put a nail here and here on the dead center line to make it centered so I can keep this line all the way down the car uh, as my center reference. So if I spray too much of this on here, it'll melt it. So I kind of need to... I kind of need to put a coat on. It'll kind of cure and then essentially seal itself. You see how it's kind of melting it. It's like eating it away. It's kind of messy. It's contact cement, so I gotta let it actually set up and dry. So I'm gonna put them right against each other here. Come around here. Come on this side here, you can see it. So I've got this ridge a little bit high here, so I'll take some 40 grit sandpaper and just on a block. Okay, so I gotta cut this off, so hold that really good, hold it tight. Like freaking tight. Okay. Yep. this now so I've got two layers the camera died so you missed a bunch but I've got two layers on the top of the whole thing I'm gonna do keep the two layers on the front here and then I'm gonna do a third layer on the top to get the height to get the height that I need so I want a center seam all the way down because as I measure off the car and I carve a shape into it I need a constant center I need a constant thing to measure off of so the front I've got that with my two layers um, and then I'm going to do that here. So what I've done is put a nail in just a hair to that side of the line. So I'm going to do this side first and then this side, and then I'll just fill in a strip on the side and the side. And then that way, as I carve deeper, 
or around the car, I can continue to measure from center over, center over, and so on, and keep everything parallel, left to right. Show how it's eating the foam. See, like here, watch this. So if you just watch that, it'll just eat away. Just gotta be really careful. Yeah, see that? That was just like, see how it's just like goo? It's like cut the crater into it. So I'm still only at this stage on the car body. And I didn't work on it last night because I got a visit from a new friend who came over. I met him on Instagram and we had messaged back and forth a little bit and he said, I want to bring you something. And so last night he came over for a visit and checked out the cars and the projects and stuff. And he came and brought me this shirt, which is amazing that he made. Dino 206 SP. And then how is that street legal? Which is super awesome. And then this. So this came from Bob at Custom Lab Designs. His Instagram is Bobcat Customs. So he comes and he presents me with this in a beautiful box. Presents me this. Emblems for the hood of my car and a dash emblem. So the car never actually had uh, any other emblem other than uh, a Dino emblem on the nose, but I'll definitely put this on the dash and obviously put one of these on the nose. And if you look at them, each piece is signed on the back and they're, they're hand cut. Like this is hand cut with a jeweler saw and then polished. And these are hand cut and then chemical etched the depth, the depth is chemical etched into them and then filled with enamel and, and epoxy. Aren't those amazing? And he just brought me these. That is awesome. What a great gesture. So I changed my shirt back to my uniform of just a classic dirty t-shirt. And so I didn't wreck Bob's awesome gift there. Uh, tonight I'm going to try and get foam on the sides here, uh, built up at a couple layers and maybe see about getting a bit of shape to it. We'll see how that goes tonight.